you know, what are other reasons why individuals might be in a state of internal disharmony? And it might actually stem from lack of self-worth, for example. You know, if, if that might be causing a, an internal struggle, because on a soul level, we understand our worth. We, we know we don't devalue who we are, what we are, why we are. But in the human experience, there's so much around us constantly telling all of our externals, telling us you know, why we're not enough and that you know, how we live is not enough or the job that we chose is not enough or you know, the people around us are telling us that we're not enough. Like All the marketing campaigns are constantly telling us how we are not enough. And so that's difficult when you have so much around you bombarding you. And so it would, that would definitely get you in a state of, of that sympathetic, that flight or flight, you know, feeling like you're, you're missing that harmony within. And so I think that's just another aspect to, to focus on when looking at internal peace of, of how much of our lack of inner peace is due to the fact that we aren't aware of how much we love ourselves, how much, you know, how much more that we can actually grow our self-worth. Yeah. I think that's a great point. And part of that, I would say, is how much are we looking at the external inputs that we allow in, yeah. right? Because all of those when, that you went through, I get to decide what I allow in, right? So as you went through that, I'm like, I hear that and I agree, but what I have throttled my social media to now and anything that I watch as far as even shows, those that I surround myself with, they are, I have designed that from the inside so that it feeds my internal peace. Not that we don't get conflict because we do, but then I have this space that has been nurtured and fed from the outside because I've curated that so that when conflict comes, I'm not in a state of chaos to not be able to lovingly meet that and say, I understand that when conflict is in my space, that individual or that group or wherever it's coming from, they're spinning. Mm -hmm. And so I hear you, I love you, I honor your perspective, but I'm not taking that on for you. And so I'll hear you and I'll understand your perspective, but I will not take your chaos. And I will have an exchange and I'll receive the information without receiving the chaos, the fear, the other things that come with it. But it's only because I've chosen what I surround myself with the majority of my time, including the external influences that goes with that. And again, I'll take that back to a mindful practice, right? I've mindfully decided what goes into my social media feed, right? It's not things that make me feel anxious on the inside. And I had to take time to figure that out. Like what's making me feel anxious versus what's allowing me to feel loved, nurtured, and cared for. People around me, what's making me feel anxious and what's making me feel loved, nurtured, and cared for. Not that I never spend time with people who make me feel anxious. I do. But how much time, right? Right. And that's where we can begin to understand from the inside what our external world is doing and ask ourselves those questions. Mm -hmm.